Alright, for this video we're given a second order ordinary differential equation and we're told to use the Laplace transform and we're given initial values so we know we're going to find a particular solution. Basically for this type of problem you're going to find the Laplace transform of the left and right hand sides, simplify which can take a while, and then find the inverse Laplace transform to get the final answer. So let's go ahead and get started. On my Laplace table we have the Laplace transform of y double prime and y prime, but if you don't have it then you can just memorize it. So the Laplace transform of y double prime is s squared y s minus s y zero minus y prime of zero minus the Laplace transform of y prime. So again I know that that's just s y s minus y zero and then that's minus two y s. So that's the left hand side. Then the right hand side we're going to take the Laplace plus transform of t and that's to the first power so that's going to be 1 over s to the n plus 1 so that's s squared plus 3 times the Laplace transform of e to the negative t so that's going to be 1 over s plus 1. So now let's simplify this left hand side we have s squared y of s minus s times y zero so that's actually just zero so we can ignore that minus y prime of zero that's one so minus one minus and then let's distribute the negative sign so minus y s s minus plus y zero again that's just zero minus two y s equals one over s squared plus three s plus one let's pull out the y of s so that's going to be times s squared minus s minus two and then we still have the minus one and let's go ahead and combine this term so that's going to be s plus one s squared times s plus one plus three s squared so now we want to get the left hand side to just have y of s and then move the rest to the right hand side so the first thing we're going to do is add one so to add one one and combine it with the rest we're gonna have plus s squared y plus one or sorry s plus one so now that's on the right hand side and then we just divide by s squared minus this should be s s minus two so s squared minus s minus two all right and now if this problem were easy you could recognize this as an inverse of the Laplace transform but it's not recognizable yet and actually we'll have to do partial fraction decomposition to get it into recognizable pieces. So first let me go ahead and simplify the numerator so that's s plus 1 plus 3s squared plus s cubed plus s squared and then the denominators s squared s plus 1 and then let me factor this so that's going to be s minus 2 s plus 1 so so simplifying that further we get s cubed plus 4s squared plus s plus 1 on the numerator and then on the denominator we have s and then we have s plus 1 twice and then s minus 2. So now we have it in a form where we can easily get partial fraction um, decompositions for it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we know that s cubed plus 4s squared plus s plus 1 all over this bottom part. Okay, actually I forgot the squared here. All right, so you want to be careful that you don't mess up when you're rewriting everything and also when you're doing partial fraction decomposition you want to be careful about the repeated exponents. So we're actually going to decompose that as a over s plus b over s squared plus c over s plus 1 plus d over s plus 1 squared plus e over s minus 2. So when you have something to the second power you do the first power first and then the second power when you're decomposing it. And now we have a system of equations that we can solve to get a, b, c, d, e. What I would do first because it's so many letters that we have to solve for I would go ahead and plug in small numbers and do system of equations just because it's it would be a system of five equations and that's kind of a lot. So for the next step what we're doing is we're taking the denominator here and we're going to multiply it out to all these variables and then we can just compare the numerator on the left hand side and the numerator on the right hand side. So that's going to be s cubed plus 4s squared plus s plus 1 equals so if we multiply s 
squared here, there's already an s on the denominator, so that's just going to be as times s plus 1 squared times s minus 2 plus b. The s squared cancels out with the denominator, so that's just going to be s plus 1 squared s minus 2 plus c, and that's going to be s squared times just s plus 1, and then s minus 2 plus d, and that's going to be s squared, and then s minus 2 plus e, and that's going to be s squared, s plus 1 squared. All right, then the next thing I would do would be to expand all of this um, and distribute out. I don't want this video to take like 40 minutes, so I'm just going to do this through Wolfram Alpha and write out the results. So it's going to be a s to the fourth minus 3s cubed a minus 2as plus bs cubed minus 3bs minus 2b plus cs to the fourth minus cs to the third minus 2cs squared plus ds cubed minus 2ds squared plus es to the fourth plus 2es cubed plus es squared. Then what we can do from here is group like terms. So we have and create our system of linear equations. So we have 0 is equal to s to the fourth, and then we have s to the fourth for a, for c, and for e. For s to the third, we have 1 equal to 1b and negative c and d and 2e. So actually, we don't have to write the s here. It's just going to be the coefficients that we're looking at. And then we have 4s squared. So s squared is going to be equal to negative 3a, then negative 2c, negative 2d, and e. And s is 1, and that's going to be equal to negative 2a, negative 3b, and 1 again is equal to negative 2b, and that's it. All right, so now we have enough information to solve for all the variables a through e. I'm going to use a combination of plugging in numbers and using the information here. So we obviously have first that b is equal to negative 1 half, so we're done with that number. Then we can plug that into the second to last equation, so we have that 1 is equal to negative 2a minus 3, and b is negative 1 half, so that's plus 3 halves minus 2a is equal to 1, so a is going to be 1 quarter. So we've used those two equations. Then I'm going to go up here and we can also try plugging in values. So if we plug in 0, that's going to give us 0 here, uh, 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, and that's going to that would give us b. We already have b. If we plug in 2, we'll get 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, and we'll get e. So let's go ahead and plug in 2. On the left-hand side, that's going to give us 8 plus 4 times 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to e times 4 4 times 3 squared, so that's 9, so that's 8 plus 16 plus 2 plus 1, so that's 27 equal to 36e, so e is equal to 3 fourths, so we have e. Then if we plug in negative 1, we'll get 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, and 0 here, so we'll get d. So negative 1 is negative 1 plus 4 minus 1 plus 1 equal to negative 3d. So simplifying that, that's 3 equal to negative 3d, so d is equal to negative 1. So now all we have left is to find c, so let me use this equation, so 0 is equal to 1 fourth plus c plus 3 fourths. So c is equal to negative 1. All right, and now we're ready to plug all of these coefficients back into this part here. So let me go ahead and rewrite that. So that's going to be a was 1 fourth, so 1 fourth s plus b is negative 1 half, 1 over s squared, plus c is negative 1, so negative 1 over s plus 1, plus what was d? Negative 1, I think? 
d is also negative 1. So negative 1 over s plus 1 squared plus e, which was 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, 1 over s minus 2. So now if we do the inverse Laplace transform, we can find values for these individual pieces pretty easily. So if we have the negative inverse of 1 fourth s, that equals 1. So that's equal to 1 fourth. If we do negative 1 half with the inverse of 1 over s squared, that equals to t, so negative 1 half t. Then we have minus the inverse of 1 over s plus 1, which equals to minus e to the negative t. Then we have minus the inverse of 1 over s plus 1 squared. That equals, so that's minus t e to the negative t. Then we have plus 3 fourths and the inverse of 1 over s minus 2 is 3 fourths e to the 2t. So combining that all together, our final solution is 1 fourth minus 1 half t minus e to the negative t minus t e to the negative t plus 3 fourths e to the 2t. And it took a while to get using the Laplace transform, but that is the final answer.